I'm naked as shit, and I'm sliding inside. Ten motherfuckers with a dick ten feet wide. Well, they'll uh, fuck me in the middle of a flight in bad fucking weather. My tape measure will be fine. How much pleasure I can hide in my head's hole. Woo, hey, woo, woo, no. And whistle the woody. Come here, let me sit on you and rock the beat. <laughs> What's going on, Negative Nation? Welcome to Hashtag Say Negative, Negative Reactions and the Negative Nation. I am Negs. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon, 1228 p.m. to be precise. Eastern Standard Time here in the beautiful state of Indiana. Yes, beautiful state of Indiana. And today we are gathered here. We are gathered here. I don't know why all this stuff isn't showing up yet. Why, why, why is none of my stuff showing up? Anyway, we are gathered here today to take a look at a very unfortunate looking woman who has <laughs> who has absolutely lost the plot. Uh, I have I have seen people lie, but like I thought maybe it was an isolated incident. Um, like with Queen of Spades, she lies. Everything she says is a lie. Okay. And that's how YouTube works too. Everybody thinks that the people they like are telling the truth without doing a stitch of research or asking anybody from uh, the, the people, like the community of the people that they're talking about. So whatever. But like French fried is on a whole new another level. And she thinks that uh, saying allegedly, I, I don't know, makes it okay to say that's not how it works. You can't, uh, you could take anything that anybody's like Jesus allegedly exists. Okay. Um, what else? Um, let's see here. Uh, you you allegedly groom children. See, I could say things like that too, Anna. We're going to start calling you Anna because that's your name is Anna. So you say it is. I don't know. Who knows what you and Froggy were up to. But she has made so many response videos. Let's go see how many response videos she's made real quick. She cannot handle being debunked. She cannot handle people owning their shit. So her whole review consists of basically just calling people a stupid bitch over and over again. I mean, I don't know if that's not a sign of, of ignorance, of just being stupid. I mean, the literal definition of stupid. Her, it, she literally is stupid. Go look up the definition of stupid as she fits the definition. So but let's take a look at her uh, discography here. Um, let's talk. One week ago, I was doxxed. Of course, there's me on the thumbnail. Hey, I'm good for some views, huh? Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, right there. There's me for some reason in a video about Gigi. I don't know how I made it to be. Oh, there's another one. That's three. And what we got here? Boom, boom, four. Four videos in a week. Four videos in a week. And people are saying that I'm bothered, that my feelings are hurt. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, this chick has been on my sack. Literally been on my sack for months, okay? For months. Don't get it twisted. All right? I didn't go to her. She came to me. All right? So, now that we got that out of the way. Dude, why is my stuff not showing up? Nothing's showing up. Dono list, viewer count, nothing. All this stuff up here is not showing up. Why? <sighs> well, whatever. I ain't got time to deal with that. It'll show up when it shows up. So... Every time Peanut responds, or if I respond, they can't get a response out of Gigi because he can't be he can't be bothered with these clowns. He's over the, the P.T. Barnum's uh, clown college. Uh, by the way, Charlie is the headmaster of said college. Charlie Gold. Charlie Gold. Yes, it all goes back to Charlie Gold. Charlie Gold loves to embolden these tiny channels, right, who will say anything, even if it is a lie. She, but see, Charlie is a con, so lies are no big deal. Yeah, you know, the, the word con man comes from confidence. She's, I mean, 
Anybody with average intelligence could tell that Charlie Gold is a con artist and a liar. Everybody knows. Everybody knows Charlie's game. But she loves to adopt these, like, like what she tried with the geek room, because they would do, you know, Negs is the new Lulz cow. <laughs> Remember that? Remember they tried to do that? Didn't work out. How's the geek room faring now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't check on them anymore because I feel like the damage has been done. The damage has been done. Um... And then uh, she uh, basically gave Froggy a platform to do what she did, and she was dangerous. Do you guys see a pattern of behavior here? Do you see a pattern of behavior here? But it's all a game of pointing fingers at one another. That's all it is at this point. But I'm going to point my fingers back at Anna from Canada um, because, well, she is on a whole nother level, Okay. Uh, she is a lying. She's slandering people. She is not proving anything. I mean, she comes from the community with, with somebody who calls themselves the queen of receipts, and she can't prove something. They could prove a protective order from uh, 13 years ago, but they can't prove a felony arrest. How is that? How does that work, guys? I don't understand how your brains work. So I don't really give a shit about her videos. They're long. She's triggered the whole time. Dude, this girl is so bothered by the fact that we actually make sense when we talk back or if we actually own up to the things that we have done. Uh, denying things that you have not done is not a delusion, Anna. Okay, let's get that straight, Miss School Teacher, whatever your profession is. I find it hard to believe that you are uh, uh, an elementary school teacher or even a teacher because of the alleged child grooming, the child grooming allegations, allegedly. Look, somebody told me that. I don't have any proof, nor did I do any research, but that's what somebody said, yet you are, you know, you're allegedly a child groomer. But, uh, because that's how it works, guys. You just put allegedly in front, or, in front of it or in, in behind it, and it, it's okay. You can say whatever you want, right? So, I want to tell you, uh, everybody in that, that weird, weird little cult you guys got, the cult of Charlie Gold, the cult of fat, the fatmosphere. Jesus, I've never seen. Look, man, I'm not bagging on people for being overweight. I'm bagging on them for being overweight. Let's get that right. I've never seen such a collective of morbidly obese, unattractive people gathered in one spot in my life. It's like it's like the requirement to be in that community is to be unattractive and fat. This is period. Like, what? Uh, how do I join Hater Nation? Are you ugly? Yeah. Are you fucking fat? Yeah. Are you a hypocrite with double standards? Yeah. Come on in. You're welcome. You come in here, you some bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. It's funny. It's funny. I'm glad. I am so glad that I found Hater Nation. I wouldn't have all this content if I didn't. And look, I don't care. I'll go to war. I'm not. There is there is no war. They, they like this this idiot here, this moron, this simpleton, this chromosome broker. She's overdosed on chromosomes, by the way. At this point, she thinks she's fighting a war, and she's an army of one. You dumbass. Are you fucking retarded? Okay, look. This is why. Okay, first let me state this right now, so you understand why I'm using uh why I'm uh going a little uh, harder in the paint or whatever you want to want to say be a little bit more aggressive this stream isn't staying up it's getting dirty deleted so i hope somebody's recording it for posterity purposes if not it's one and done out of here are you fucking retarded anna a one-man army you are so goddamn ignorant that it pains me to even sit here and vocalize it it's how ignorant you are you are latched on the charlie's labia so hard you're like a piranha who hasn't seen any meat or blood in a week <laughs> that's why you've got your ponytail or your pigtails in is so you don't get them all smucked up with snail trails that's how deep you are and it's pretty sad because you know charlie's a dead channel right she's a she's a clown dude she has, I mean, she may not, she may still get views. She may still be irrelevant, but she's infamous. It's not a good relevancy. It's not profitable. It's not sustainable. And it's most cer certainly only benefiting her because she has such low self-worth, just like you, just like every single one of your channels. Oh, it's sad. It's such a case study. Uh, you took too much, man. 
And his mother must not have fucked anybody hot if that's what God created by the looks of Anna. You know, dude, you, you really shouldn't make fun of people with fetal alcohol syndrome. I'm just saying. All right, let's get into this video. Uh, I want you guys to drink every time she uh, just calls somebody a name. She, th This is what I'm saying. Like, right now, she is she's stupid. Literally, the definition of stupid. She has no argument. Everything she says defies common sense. Did I say stop lumping me in with everybody else, please? Okay, you didn't prove shit on me. I denied allegations because they were untrue, and you're calling me delusional. Stop lumping me in with Pina and everybody else, okay? Pina, uh, she knows what her past is. She She's big enough to uh, admit it. You know, she's big enough to be like, yeah, I, I have a past and blah, blah, blah. But, like, I don't know how that's a point of contention right now, you know, for you to be like, junkie this, junkie that. But you use some interesting vernacular in this video, too, that I think everybody's going to really have an appreciation for. Even your intro song sounds obese. How is that? <laughs> I am almost 40 into success. Hey girls, welcome wow. back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Oh my and if God. you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing. Welcome to another episode of Drinks and Discussions, a series drinks and discussions you have to you have to i mean like look one everybody's bitching about somebody saying uh, something about you smoking a joint i don't give a shit dude i've i've i vape delta eight through my entire stream i never said a word about you getting high i may point out the fact that you can't do these videos without having a drink or having a smoke i could do these without that i just choose to, it makes you it makes it easier to look at you it makes it easier for me to chew back my breakfast if i'm stoned series where we sit down have a drink and have a discussion. Sit down. So the when did you ever stop super, sitting super down? Super bothered since my previous video. <sighs> it seems like they're okay with putting everybody else's dirt out there, but they really don't like to have their shit thrown in their faces. You fucking retard. Just because you say something happened doesn't mean it happened. How 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 does what the fuck, dude? Like seriously, you should sue your mother for uh, binge drinking while she was pregnant with you. You really should. Now, Peanut came on live stream for two hours mm -hmm. in a live stream entitled, here's your proof, you are pathetic, and I feel sorry for you. Mm -hmm. So today, we're gonna take a look at that video and discuss. So you're gonna take a look at the video that debunks your lies. You're a special kind of stupid, dude. You're a special kind of stupid. I, I proved twice that you lied. Once when you said you didn't mention my family, and you did. And twice when you said I was arrested for something that I wasn't arrested for. Dude, God, it pains me how incredibly stupid she is, dude. I can't get over it. Now, obviously, it goes without saying that I'm going to be editing this video way down. Mm. Uh, there's no way I'm spending two hours of my day on fucking Peanut and her gallery. You fucking dumbass. It's 33 minutes and 17 seconds. You spent 33 minutes on Peanut's dumbass. <laughs> and you edited it. <laughs> I'm doing it live. There's no effort. All the effort for me was to press stream and go with it. <coughs> so let's discuss. So let's just get into it right away. <laughs> Where is there a meltdown? Where is anybody melting down? Nobody was melting down. Oh, oh. And the meltdown is still fucking going on, you asshole. You made this fucking two hour live stream. This is like more than a week into this now. It's, it's the self-awareness for me. Do you realize that what... I just had somebody in the chat in here earlier. They made a comment. They came to my chat. They made the effort to come to my chat and say that my fifis were hurt because I'm going on live. So your guys' logic is anybody that says anything back is just devastated. Oh, man, I can't sleep at night. Oh, this fucking irrelevant fat fuck from Canada made a video about me. Oh, oh, how I sleep at night. See, I could do this, too. I could do this, too, Frenchie. I could be, I could be vile and disgusting, too. Buckle up. We still got about an hour and a half ahead of us because I've got endurance. Not like you would know what endurance from a man is, but. You do you. But uh, don't get so angry when people try you in the court of public opinion. The channels have been tossed into the mix. As you all know, I've made it very clear that I don't do the YouTube dramas. A stranger uh. <laughs> randomly approaches us with an unprovoked attack on my friend. Okay, so a little context. She's watching Peanuts live stream, and Peanuts live stream, she's watching her fucking video. Oh, God, these are exhausting. And now I'm watching, uh, <laughs> uh, what did somebody call her? Uncle Fester? I don't know what they called her. Lurch? I, some Adam's family, I can't remember. Right, then yeah. 
I'm throwing hands. I got your back. Let's go. Okay. See the uh -huh. difference? Provoked, unprovoked. Staying out of existing wars, fighting new ones that get created for no reason. By the way, the puma on your shirt looks like it has diabetes. That's how fat you are. <laughs> Big difference. She didn't even comment about why I would have opened the video with that. The, the but your fucking chin connects to your collarbone, dude. What hybrid of a human are you? Like, for real. The irony is totally lost on them that that's the anti-hater king himself, Gigi, giving a message that these idiots nor himself follow. But that is totally, totally lost on them. That was for you guys, idiots. If you think I look crazy now... D dude, let's get something straight here right now. Gigi doesn't fucking speak for me, okay? Peanut doesn't speak for me, all right? I speak for me. You talk about being this one-woman army when actually uh, the North Korea of the internet, Charlie Gold, is funding your aspirations with dopamine and ass pads. Give me a break. Gigi, he's my, he's my friend. I consider him a friend, okay? But he doesn't speak for me, nor does he tell me what to do. If he sends me something funny, I post it because I want to, because I want that reaction from you. I want you to say something back. <laughs> it's the YouTube game. I don't know. I don't think that that French fry girl is actually playing said game because she feels it feels like she's personally invested in this. And she's not. She doesn't have a dog in this fight over nothing. She's just hopping on the bandwagon because the drama has shifted from the girls to the communities themselves. So I am content now. And I can't say I'm not unhappy about it. I just wish people would be honest and stop lying. You want to make videos about me? Great. Don't fucking lie about me, dude. There's plenty out there about me. You don't need to lie. Okay? I'm problematic. Now, I'll look even crazier in front of a judge. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, oh an episode of Drink and Discussion. Seriously. He started vaguely threatening me. Oh, there we go. I think. Let's read this. Should we read these? Only a true idiot brags about their gainful employment and then takes shots at someone's addiction in the same video. Yep. The internet is forever and your anonymity isn't guaranteed. I guess this is her saying that this is him making veiled threats? No, it's him stating facts. <laughs> Let's hear it. What do you mean? What you stupid bitch. When you just look at that one fucking tweet, you could say it's just him stating facts. <laughs> it's the accumulation of all the fucking tweets he had put out up until that point. That oh, where's the rest of the tweets at then? Where's the rest of the tweets at? Uh, if you're going to plead your case on, on about a tweet, then you really need to come with facts. Again, you have failed to prove your point. You, I stated facts. You know what? Your community, I have called out fucking inequality, and you guys have come for me. I state facts, and you come for me. You cannot handle the fucking truth. You can't. It's amazing. You're all in denial. <laughs> that make it a veiled threat. Eh, Don't pretend up. like you're that stupid, you bitch. You play the same dirty fucking games that he does. Nick, who has never, never had a job to lose in his entire 45 year existence, is talking uh, about my job? Mm, yeah. Talking about me losing my job? Mm, no, I didn't. This talk. is Neg's job. Hi. Like, I, I don't understand why people continue to say that he doesn't have a job. Not only is YouTube his job, but he makes pretty good money doing it. So it's like, yeah. Yeah, because people who make really good money share a one bedroom with their kid in their mother's fucking home. Uh, <clears throat> it's not a home, it's a building. Okay. I know this is supposed to be some kind of point of contention, but let me, let me, like, let me, let me put it here. Let me put it to you like this. All right. There are plenty of multi generational households. There are more multi generational households in the United States now than there ever have been. Right. There are uh, parents living with their kids. There are grandparents living with their kids. There are grandparents living with their kids who are living with their kids who have their kids living there. It's quite common. Two, um, I'm not a dumbass, okay? Uh, we've been locked down. We've had a pandemic for a year. The last thing I wanted to do, and I don't owe you guys this explanation, but I'm just trying to make you see how um, this is just her trying to roast me. It's not a roast at all. Um, Pandemic for a year. What better time to grow your brand, right? What a better what better time to work on yourself 
right? What better time to save up, right? So when I do move, which is happening very soon, by the way, I've been pretty vocal about that. Um, I, I will be able to afford it for the rest of my life, okay? Not the next year, not the next two years, the rest of my life, okay? I'm not an idiot. I'm not a superficial guy. I'm not a materialistic guy. Do I want more space for myself? Yes, but I spend most of my time right here at this desk, in the other room, and in my backyard. Where I do that at while I get my bag and make sure that my son's taken care of, I mean, you could flip it around like this. You could be like, dude, this guy is selfless. This guy, this guy nags is selfless. He gave his kid the, it's a big, huge bedroom too. The only bedroom in the apartment, and he sleeps on a sectional every night. This dude has degenerative arthritis in his spine and in his neck, yet he sleeps on a goddamn uncomfortable sectional every night so that his kid, who is just becoming a man, he's a teenager, can have his own space. You know what I'm saying? So he could save money to better provide for his kid over the next five years until he's 18. So he could see to it that if he needs special education, that he can afford that special education. But no, I live with my mom. <laughs> are you guys really that stupid D does the negative nation really believe the bullshit that this guy is spewing it's not bullshit uh, come on i'm real unlike you i'm real mm. everything i say i mean yeah if i was so problematic why aren't i dragging all y'all's dead relatives out of their graves Right? Why am I not doing that? Why am I not bringing up like somebody whose mom died? Why am I not saying, hi, your mom, your mom, blah, blah, blah. I don't believe you about your mom, your dead mom. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all go too low. You want to play this game? Cool. Keep it above the belt. Be honest and leave family out of it. Wake the fuck up. If you believe this shit, it's time to wake the fuck up. Mm, okay. Tiny little man. Tiny little man. As I said, my job is unfuckwithable. Just like you, you are unfuckwithable too, and unfuckable. Because you don't have one, I bet. Is this projection on her part? Is this why she's always talking about other people's jobs? Oh, honey, honey, I have a job. Mm -hmm. I have a job. I know this is a foreign concept to you guys, no, but really. most people work. It's it's nothing special to the general population, mm -hmm. but to your group of fucking halfwits, mm -hmm. it's like ha winning the lottery or something. It's like having a superpower, having a job. It's just what normal people fucking do every day, Peanut. Nothing God special damn. about it. Jesus, calm down. Nobody gives two calm shits. Calm down, that I call porky. a junkie a junkie, call a racist a racist. Nobody's a or racist. Or that I call you allegedly. Mm -hmm. Involved in the robbery of a video rental oh, store. Oh, there's that and lie again. Oh, my God. Are we serious with this? Where did this come from yeah. all of a sudden? Yeah. Where did that come oh from? My, Where did that come from? Meg's robs video stores? Is that what that blockbuster thing was mm -hmm. about in the group chat? Slander. Oh see, see, this is why you shouldn't brag about your employment. Because let me tell you something. Um, I'm not going to do it. But if somebody out there has fuck you money, like if you fuck with the wrong YouTuber and say some shit like that, because see, you know that I'm not going to sue you because you live in Canada. Uh, you guys are basically a police state. You're all a bunch of uh, spineless cowards who can't even <laughs> fight your own government for your freedoms. Or maybe you are. You are because you're not concerned about that, right? Not, no, I, didn't mean to, uh, I didn't mean to offend my Canadian uh, viewers. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm directing the Canadian hate at her, not you guys. Anyway. If somebody had fuck you money, they would garnish your wages for the next 10 years. They would. But I don't have fuck you money. And you're not worth the money that I have. You, you feel me? Like, I will gladly stand on your neck and make a couple bucks. Oh, hail Michelle, please. Thank you very much, Michelle. Guys, the thing's busted. I don't know why it's not loaded. Notifications aren't showing. I should have just done this in Streamlabs. But uh, Super Chats, memberships, uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, the, you know the spiel. So anyway, do go on and tell us how much better than us you are because you have a job. Which, you know what? I, I'm, I'm sorry that you can't build a brand based off of your opinions, your mind, and your looks uh, enough to sustain life. That's unfortunate. 
Now they're getting it. Now they understand. They just have to see the documents thrown in their fucking face for them to understand. But now they're starting to understand. Understand what? When you can't argue with documents, you didn't throw document, dude. What you didn't throw any documents in anybody's face. You s alleged things. You lied straight up about me. You lied bigger than shit. You lied. There were no documents. There were no receipts. <laughs> you had somebody on Twitter share a screenshot of a protective order that is uh, thirteen years old. That's what you did. You don't know the context to it. You don't know why it was filed. Did you know you can file those on anybody, by the way, for any reason? Yeah. Oh, they cut in front of me at Taco Bell. Eh. <laughs> You're so goddamn stupid that it pains me. It really does. It truly does. You guys haven't produced a mug shot for me? Why is that? If I'm a big criminal, why don't I have a mug shot? Why don't I have a mug shot on my t-shirts? Hmm. Somebody's criticisms just make yes. shit up. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Okay, You're Peanut. Under arrest for unpaid child support. Allegedly. Yep. If if I uh, allegedly, you don't get Okay, you allegedly groom children. You do. I somebody told me that you allegedly groom children, and that's why you're an educator. I think that's fucked up, allegedly. Good God. She's not your buddy guy. All hell, nacho concern. By the way, the stream is not staying up for obvious reasons. Uh, I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to leave it on my channel so people could. By the way, I've already seen, in the five minutes and 40 seconds, I've seen uh, six points of contention on your video that people could flag for harassment and bullying. I don't know, like, if you don't care, but I feel like you do. I feel like if, because so, look, man, you have four videos up that are almost identical to this. Strike one, two, three, done. If somebody took the time to go through your videos and do that, and look, that's not me threatening you again, like you always think. That's not me allegedly threatening you. That's me telling you from one YouTuber to the next. I would like to see you keep your channel. I would just like to see you to stop lying and being on this fuck shit that you're on. You're going to lose your channel because the shit you say, you cannot you cannot do that. You can't just be like, stupid bitch, bitch, a bunch of stupid bitch. You can if you're live and delete it, but you can't record that shit and upload it for posterity purposes. Get out of here. What does that have to do with anything? God. Nothing. What? It shows character, you stupid bitch. Somebody who is a low life enough to get arrested for robbing a fucking video store and for owing child support should shut the fuck up about criticizing other people or even mentioning their arrests. You've, <laughs> you're so stupid. <coughs> you've killed your credibility. If it didn't kill it in the last three videos, you've killed it in six minutes because you've already convicted me in your own mind. Again, you're just like Callie, like how Callie needs everything to be about her when Chantel makes a, makes a slight comment. You need this to be true about me because you've got nothing else. You've got nothing. And you know you could not go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you-know-who. <laughs> that didn't rhyme. You can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me on a panel because everything you would throw at me like this shit, I would debunk it on the spot. You would get dunked on and dunked on and dunked on. That's why you hide behind these 33-minute videos full Full of slander. <laughs> You're fucking disgusting. When other people's arrests are nowhere near as dirty as the shit he has fucking done, nor the shit that you have fucking done. What the fuck did I say? I, I make fun of Charles because she has been arrested for being that bitch, that fucking uh, cheap bitch, that broke bitch. That's what she's been arrested for, okay? I don't know. She can't pay her court fines. She skips out on rent. So what? I point that out. You're pointing out something that did not happen. It's not true. <laughs> Do you not see that? How can you not see it? Guys, am I losing my mind or is this the Twilight Zone? I don't know. Hypocrite. What is wrong with these people trying to reach into people's real personal lives? Yeah, right. What does that... Oh, okay. So it's okay for Negs to fucking try and get to my job and I should lose my job. What? But he didn't like it when I pushed back and threw out something about his fucking real life. 
you stupid idiot. You came online and said you had a job. I said it was dumb for you to do that with what you're doing. It's still dumb. You're still acting like a complete buffoon. You <laughs> are pushing back over something else that you think is true, and it's not. Good Lord. You will t take anything. You will take a lie and make that a, a point of contention. You will take a, a perceived uh, truth in your own head and make that a point of contention. This is mental illness. Mental illness. And by the way, uh, since you all want to dunk on me and you want to start spreading this little blockbuster thing, prove it. If it's true, you prove it. There's no other gotcha moment like, here's the proof. Yeah, a protective order from 13 years ago isn't proof of that, by the way. That's not how it works. No, you actually, I want to see a mugshot and I want to see an arrest record. Let's go for it. Come on. Come on, doctor that shit up. <laughs> Rules for thee, not for me. We do what we want, but God forbid we get any fucking blowback. Go fuck yourselves. Every time you push, I will push a little fucking harder. Hey, hey, listen here, you fucking dumb coos. Let me tell you something. You went deep in on me. You you questioned me about another thing that was said that wasn't true. You're you're batting zero with me. Been arrested for child support? Eh, wrong. Robbery? Eh, wrong. What was the other thing? I didn't. I wasn't going for your job. Eh, wrong. And what the fuck did you just say? I, I, I'm sorry. You just you. Go fuck yourself. Go okay. Rules for the Oh, no you went deep. You not only the last lie you perpe you perpetuated was about ten thousand dollars for a funeral, right? Right in the open on Twitter, you questioned me about a, something that has not only been debunked five or six times, but was flagrantly disrespectful. Fuck you. I want you to tell me when you have to raise money for a funeral for somebody that you love that died, I want you to tell me how much you paid, and then I want to go online and be like, where's the money that you, that, where's the money that you stole? Because you believe everything that everybody tells you. It's ridiculous. You're the problem on the internet. You're on here spazzing out. You're fucking spurging, you lol cow. Do you not understand that? You, this, you have become a fucking lol cow overnight, a sensation. Because what you're doing is laughable. It's not entertainment because you present it as truth and you know it's not. You're irresponsible. And if I, I'm sure that if, you, if somebody could find your employer and contact them, it's not going to be me. But the reason I told you that was dumb was because you know how this shit works out here. You're not fu you say you're not stupid. Don't pretend you are, okay? But if somebody could find your employer and said, hey, she's on here claiming people committed felonies. She's on here claiming people neglect children. Like, what employer would want somebody like that on their staff? You're problematic, not only on the internet, but in real life. I'm just speaking truth to you here. This is, a, you know what I'm saying? Jesus. Not for me. We do what we want, but God forbid we get any fucking blowback. Yeah, whatever. Go fuck yourselves. Every time you push, I will push a little fucking harder. I need you people to start fucking understanding that. She is just saying things that has been said over and over the past few years and is trying her best to be like negs. I caught that too. I caught that too. I think she idolizes me. I think she's, uh, I think she's p trying to pattern herself after me a little bit. Um, but I don't lie like this, okay? And if I get some shit wrong, I tell people. Like the whole RSN thing. I removed my videos. I, sh I shook his hand digitally because we're in a pandemic. Couldn't do that. And uh, told everybody what was up and directed them to the proof that was... Uh, that, de that debunked that girl's claim. It was that easy. That's, that's, that's my honesty, there, Frenchy. You understand? That's called being honest. That's called having integrity. I know you want the affirmation of Charlie Gold, and she has not a stitch of integrity in her body. She doesn't. All 348 pounds of it. To do with YouTube. What does that have to do with the argument at hand? Oh. Dumb bitch, what did my job have to do with the argument at hand or YouTube or any of it? What did my what did what did funeral money that I didn't steal have to do with any of it? You you understand what you're doing here? You're just I mean I get it. This is part of the YouTube game, but nobody threatened your job, yo. You threatened your own job the moment you decided to get on here, and you thought it was a dunk. You thought you were dunking on me by bragging about being employed when I have the luxury, I have the privilege rather, to be able to stay home, raise my kid, no less. Be with my kid. 
365. But I can also walk 10 feet to my kitchen and make sure that he has food, clothes, and a roof over his head. You thought you were fucking dunking on me? Shit, no, you dunked on yourself by telling all these people that this is what you basically said. Hello, my name is Anna. I'm a hateful cunt who lies, and I'm gainfully employed in Canada. Don't come for me. That's what you said. That was, that was a mistake. Everything that you say is ever based in fact. It's not. You're a joke, dude. Okay, since I'm a joke and nothing is fact, I'm gonna link again mm -hmm. the fucking video with the alleged proof in it. Since what I'm proof? such a fucking joke, you dumb bitch. You, you are a joke. Charlie's arrest. Yep. Uh, cause, uh, the <laughs> difference is Charlie put her arrest on merch. Negs. Charlie put her fucking arrest on merch because you dumb asses wouldn't shut the fuck up about it and Gigi wouldn't stop tweeting it every day. Are Not we really going to pretend to be that stupid that we don't understand why Charlie would put her fucking mugshot out there? Are you stupid? Stop playing. Will you please just make a point? Calling people stupid and names, you sound so, you sound like a bully is all you sound like. You sound like a simpleton and a bully. Like, I want to give you my lunch money just to shut you the fuck up right now. For real. <laughs> like, what are you going on about? Make a point. Make an argument. Your videos are 90% are this. Are you stupid? Stupid bitch. Are you stupid? You stupid bitch. You stupid motherfuckers. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Playing the fucking game, Peanut. As I've said a million times, and I will continue to say... Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're fooling maybe the handful of subscribers who still buy your shit, mm. but the rest of us, you're not convincing anyone and you're certainly not going to talk us into the fact that you people are good people or that Charlie was the one who put out our own fucking mugshot. Are you? I don't give a shit. That shit was done by the time I came around. So you can fucking quit lumping me in with everybody else's bullshit. And fuck you for lying about my criminal record because I tweeted out that fucking Bethune's mugshot. Big deal. Charlie Gold sucks. She's not beyond reproach. That doesn't mean that you get to lie blatantly to try to dunk on people. I'm problematic, Anna. You will find plenty of shit, plenty of points of contention without making shit up. Stop fucking lying, dude. Just stop it. Stupid. The things that Negs is commenting on, even in this particular tweet, these are not things that I would say or things that I would lead to criticize somebody with, but all of these things are things that these people have put out themselves, talked about in a story time, mentioned themselves in a video. To me, that's fair game. Yep. Not it is. Well, Peanut, you're the one who told everybody that you're a reco recovering junkie. Added, right? You added. put that shit out there and we saw you H nod off during your fucking live stream and we hear No, you're you're spreading misinformation again. Nobody saw shit. You're you're again, you're lying again. Yet again. Yet again. This death fat is over here lying again. Dude, you're unbelievable. Nobody saw shit. She had a medical emergency on a live stream. And you motherfuckers, I'm gonna play your game, you stupid cunts need this to be about being a junkie because you need that point of contention. So let's look and see. You say you're a one-woman army, but you're definitely doing this for Charlie Gold. You are. It, it, it's sad. I'm sorry you got looped into that. Ask the Geek Room how it fared for them. So you're 100% doing this for her. You have to lie about me to have a point of contention without using any truths. You just lie because you need it to be true. Uh, you're, you're going to use somebody's addiction against them, which fuck it, whatever. Fair enough. She did put it out there. And if you're that big of a scumbag that you want to be like, fuck a junkie, <laughs> there's only one person I call a junkie on this platform. And that's Jake Jonas because he's a commie fucking cuck boy. That's why. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, go on. You, I fucking looking at you. I'm starting to like, I'm starting to feel like I want to suck a dick right now. So let's get you off the screen. Hear you before. slurring and slow and shit all the time. So with your fucking logic, if you're the one that put that out there, why are you so butthurt now that I have been throwing that fucking word back in your in your face? Because you're hmm? a fucking piece of why shit. Why does that bother you so much now? Going, Going over, over into, into somebody's, somebody's docs 
and finding out their personal information to spew dishonestly because you're incapable of disarming a fucking argument. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, so is that? Will you please stop trying to be like me? You are. I'm calling you out. You're trying to steal my shtick. You are basically what I was four years ago. You know, you're very late. I've evolved because I'm a content creator. Because unlike you, unlike Charlie Gold, unlike Callie, and unlike DC Media Girl, I make a, a full-time income doing this. And I'm a smaller channel. That's That should be... Uh, ...out their personal information to spew dishonestly because you're incapable of disarming a fucking argument. You are. Oh, yeah. So is that what Gigi did to Charlie all summer last year? What do you mean? Allegedly. <laughs> See, you are doing this for Charlie Gold. You've been cucked, bitch. <laughs> you might as well own it right now, fatty. You got cucked so bad, so hard. You are Charlie Gold's bitch at this point. You really are. And I'm only throwing in names so you can feel what it's like to be called, you know, to somebody try to disarm your argument with nothing but go, dump a bitch, I love my brother, blow my back out, Steph. Peanut was arrested for credit card fraud and for possession of a control. Not only credit card fraud, but also for stealing a car that was my own. And if you're going to snoop around in my private life. All hail Sunny Mail. Making fun of someone being honest and transparent about addiction is low. Well, I mean, you know, I don't make fun of uh, French fried girls uh, food addiction. So, I mean, I think it's pretty low. You should do it better because. Who snooped around? It's on fucking Kiwi Farms, you dumb bitch. I didn't see anything about stealing your own car, but I've never heard of anybody getting arrested for stealing their own car. So there'll be some fucking story behind that one too. And how, how about you shut up for a minute there, Jowls? How about you for once, just for fucking once, go talk to Callie for fuck's sake. She's the queen of receipts. God damn it, talk to Scott Stevens. He's the queen of receipts. He's the true queen of receipts. He will get you this information if you'll shut the fuck up. But see, you can't prove it. You report what you read on a fucking bottom-feeding gossip site, all right? It's, it, hey, look, shit from the farms, it, it's cool to laugh at it, right? And kind of go, nah. But, like, to take it as fact, you got to be fucking kidding me, dude. If that's your investigation, that's your receipt. It's on Kiwi Farms. Show it, Anna. Show it. You can't do this. You can't just be on here alleging all these things and not proving your point. You have resorted to just calling people names, just being a bitch. That is not how you win an argument. I think what it is is you've gotten away with this in real life, that you're just, you're just a bitch to everybody. That's how you get your way, right? That's how you disarm people. This shit don't happen online. It wouldn't happen in real life with any of us either. I'm just saying. All hail Annie Duran. Thank you very much. It's very sweet of you. I appreciate that so very, very much. Dude, we got 20 minutes to go. I don't know if I'm going to get through this whole thing. But I know she – I'm going to try to – there's a point I heard. The reason I'm reviewing this is because she she made a statement that I need to make abundantly clear to her that is highly inflammatory and uh, not appropriate. I'm sure it is not Peanut's car. Was arrested for credit card fraud with my own credit card and for stealing a car that was my own. And sure. the case sure. was complete. That's what every junkie says, right, Peanut? Missed. And the arresting officer apologized to me profusely in hopes that I wouldn't take out a case against the establishment that didn't do their due diligence that oh. led to the circumstances. You shut the fuck up, Anna, right now. I hear you motherfuckers out there virtue signaling and, 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 and talking about the injustices in the United States, and you're going to sit here and deny that somebody's injustice happened? I know that's what you're going to do. If that's the case, don't ever say another word about anything that happens in your country or this one. I don't want to hear it. Because I already can tell you guys definitely aren't social activists at all. So, But let's hear it. Stance to begin with. Let's hear it. So, Where's if, the proof? You did dipshit. anybody believe that story that she just spewed? Yep. No? Yep. Cool. Me neither. 
and he had a pancreatitis attack. He went to the hospital. Look at Negs in the chat and his comment is highlighted. No, his record is squeaky clean. It is. Negs, when you get something expunged from your record, you might have a clean record. That doesn't mean that you didn't do the crime. Huh? Well, I'm still waiting for your proof. I don't know what you're talking about in any of this. Prove it. Prove something. I could say shit too. You allegedly groomed children and that's why you're an educator. See how that works? See how I turned it up a notch? See how I'm being edgy and cool? Who am I appeasing? Nobody but my own ego. Dude, just prove it. You've alleged crimes against Peanut. Uh, you've alleged crimes against me. You've alleged racism against people. And you've not proven a single solitary stitch of anything you've said. You just expect people to know. You're only catering to the people who buy into your bullshit. The people who are in your comment section. The people who are... Uh, in your chats, the people who are on your Twitter, those are the people you're catering to. An outside, uh, an outside observer would be like, "Yeah, these people suck," because you're, but you're not proving anything, and people don't understand that's how it works, guys. If you don't see it, it didn't happen. What is the point of this? What is the point of bringing? Just to show what a fucking idiot Negs is, and he can shoot his fucking edgy mouth all night, but he knows jack shit about the world. Okay. Sure. She embodies the word behem. Behem does. was oh, created oh. for ugg mugs like this. So, uh, mm -hmm. it represents. I have a theory about that behem. I think Peanut has been called a behem, mm. maybe growing up. And that's where she got it from. Okay. Because I've never seen an uglier mug than Peanuts. Shit. Peanut came on live within one hour. Dude, Peanut is a lot more attractive than you are. I'll tell you right now, if I if if I had to choose, it wouldn't be you, Susie Q. Of my video being up. There. Did I? I have no idea. All I know is that I was told about the fact that she made a video and I did the live stream when I could. I don't pay attention to the times. I do shit when I can. Yeah, when you can, because you had fuck all going on ever. So within an hour, boom, she's ready to go. More conjecture. Lunatic. More. Peanut, get a fucking hobby at least. And this is not a hobby. You look so foolish. Hey, getting finger blasted in the janitor closet isn't a hobby, all right? That I sit here and I cringe so hard inside that I leave. Really, Peanut? Why don't you turn on your camera so we can all see you cringe? You still haven't even addressed the whole fucking non showing your face on camera thing. And I've who who's beholden to you exactly? Did you, did you catch that, guys? That's a that's a huge tell right there. That, that, that she just she just showed her entire hand right there. there. I don't need any more proof. She is doing this for no other reason than be, I, I do. I think she enjoys it a little bit. But I think she's absolutely doing it because Charlie Gold shouted her out, dude. She did. She did. Charlie Gold saw it. She was like, ooh, fresh meat. Let me get my claws in this one. It'll be easy to hang on to this one. She's a, she's fluffy. <laughs> oh, God. Hang on a second. I got to step away. I can't see how many people are watching. 103. 199. Okay, cool. Right on. All right. I didn't know how many people were watching, so I just had to see. So, Anna. Definitely not anorexic. I kept throwing that in your face, too. How come you don't address that? Hmm? Because that would mean acknowledging it, right? Okay. I'm going to put this out there, Peanut. Why don't you add a webcam, any webcam you want, to your fucking Amazon wish list, and I will buy that motherfucker for you. Put a return address on it. You can send it to me. But you have to turn it on when you get it. So because I've... I don't know why that's even a point of contention, dude. You have completely played your hand. You, you, you're not trying to make a point. You're, you've lied to dunk on people. Wow. I've never seen somebody embarrass themselves so hard in 12 minutes and 50 seconds, dude. This is unreal. She should just delete her channel, really. You should delete your social media because, look, man, I don't want you to lose your income unlike you want, like, me to because that's what you're – this is a whole – when you go out and intentionally lie about someone like you are right now, 
you're trying to impact their income. You're trying to impact their reputation. Fortunately for me, it only the only people that care are the dipshits in your own little community. And probably 300 of your views come from people from our community because they're curious as to what Shrek is saying today. So don't flatter yourself said disgusting things on the internet is why your stupid friend got banned from Twitter? That makes No, who said that? Did I say that? Is that You just fucking said that, Peanut. Rewind it. I don't know, maybe maybe your mind ain't clear or something. I didn't You're hear so anything dishonest. like that. You're so dishonest. You're not smart enough. Why can't you She's just not. do better? You're not smart. This enough. isn't even fun because of how stupid you are. It's a you just said it, you fucking idiot. The only shit that I have ever reported on Twitter is when people were coming for uh, Froggy's daughter. When people were coming for mm. Froggy's daughter, I reported that shit. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't think nobody was coming for Froggy's daughter. Nope. People said that it seemed like she was pretty abusive by what was mm -hmm. displayed on the screen. That's what we said. Did Peanut just say that the aunties never said anything about Froggy's daughter or were coming? Listen here. You are making a video about me and Peanut. You are fucking looping everybody else into it. You are saying what Scott Stevens does is basically something that I do. Okay? That's not how it works. Okay? Okay? Do you see me shouting people out that, that do shit like come after children? Do you see me retweeting them? Do you see me coddling them? I see Charlie Gold coddling you, though. And you've said some horribly disgusting things about people's children. Froggy's daughter? Yo, it's all on Twitter. It's been going on for almost a year. Are you fucking kidding me? Lies out of this woman's mouth are disgusting. Yeah, they are, aren't so they? So when you're backed into a corner, that's what you do. You have no argument at all. So you just start lying and <laughs> Jesus Christ, you are so you lack you have no fucking self-awareness, dude. You know, you are projecting. Look at you. So when they have no defense, you lie. Wow, is that what you're doing right now? When you have no defense, you're lying? When you have no defense, you're lying. Hmm. Okay. All right. Changing the story? Okay. It's all some stupid back and forth. Yeah, sure you don't. You cry yourself to sleep, and you report all of it, hoping that the Lord takes it away so your eyes don't have to see it. Come on. He likes to... Is that why you blocked me? So that your eyes wouldn't have to see the abuse? You stupid bitch. You fucking weak, Peanut. Shut the f- I blocked you because I can't punch your face through the back of your skull through Twitter. That's why I blocked you. Fuck up. Peanut, whose deceased family member have I ever brought up? Ever. Megs, and I will show you, you the proof in one second. You ever. Did. Let's see. You did. I want a receipt. For that one. All right. Yeah, receipt. Yeah, we gave you a receipt. What, what's your response to the receipt? Let's listen to her response to a receipt showing that she lied again, dude. That's three. I don't know how many, how many lies are we up to now? This bitch does nothing but lie and lie and lie. Here we go. It's time to show receipts. Let's go. Let me unshare this screen. And hold on. Let me go to Twitter. Yeah, has anybody died from uh, alcohol poisoning? <laughs> Every time she says stupid bitch. All right, here we go. This is this dirty behem saying to Negs, I got some questions for you too, Parasite. Where'd the GoFundMe money go? Mm -hmm. Were you even allowed at the funeral? Mm -hmm. How many of your kids speak to you? Mm -hmm. Did you really get arrested for refusing to pay child support? Mm -hmm. How much welfare money do you spend of bleh, for mo per month? Those are questions that she asked me, and she tweeted that she stood behind him, and that's when I blocked her. I ain't got time for that. That's my personal life, and everything she's asking me is misinformation. It's been debunked as lies. I don't know why she thinks that this is a point of contention because all these stupid idiots in her community buy everything that they fucking spew from their cum guzzlers. It's disgusting, dude. This is why, this is why people get pissed off on the internet right here. Okay, let this be an example to everybody that don't think for a second that you are off limits. Don't think for a second that if anybody knows who your family is, that they are off limits. Because this chick is making a video and she's about to give a rebuttal as to why she's, uh, why she got caught lying. She got caught lying. Let's listen to what she says. Okay. Now, are you going to tell me that that's not exactly what I said you did? That is. No, idiot. That is not at all what you said. You said that I... 
mentioned and brought up people's deceased family members. There's the tweet. There's what you're calling proof. Show me where in that tweet that I'm talking about a deceased family member. I'm not. I'm talking about fucking negs. I'm attacking negs and asking questions that I think anyone's allowed to ask of him. Nobody else, not his deceased family member. You're not gonna try and twist this one, okay? There are my words and you're gonna, you, you guys are literally trying to call that the receipt? It is a receipt. That I mentioned dead family members? It is a receipt. Are you fucking delusional? Are you going on so little right now wow. that you're trying to spin this wow. one into something? Wow. Pathetic. No, you're pathetic. Pathetic. Read it again. Read it again. This was me attacking Niggs. No mention of anything. No mention of any deceased fucking family member. Try harder. And you know, the funny thing about this tweet is that when the shit hit the fan between Froggy and Negs and I and all that shit, Negs and I were speaking behind the scenes, okay? Mm -hmm. And we both apologized to each other for a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. And this was the kind of shit that I apologized to him for. I specifically said, it wasn't my place to ever comment on your parenting. Mm -hmm. I never attacked anyone's dead kid or even mentioned a dead kid. <sighs> fucking exhausting, dude. Uh, yeah, but what did you do? Shortly after? What did you do? Shortly after the apologies? You started doing videos on us. You started doing videos on us. And you started digging in. Do I need to show you the tweet of you saying, I stand by those questions? So your apology wasn't sincere. Okay, so the, we both apologized. So that was a reboot. But since you went back and said, I stand by these questions, yeah. You can't say, I apologize. That doesn't count. That's not how it works. You, nobody should be asking anyone those fucking questions, you mouth-breathing brother fucker. Are your parents siblings? Seriously, <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with you. I truly, truly, truly don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. I haven't reacted to your videos because Peanut has. Uh, I haven't watched but like 10 minutes of one of your other videos because I don't give a fuck. But I happened to pop into this one and I picked a random timestamp and I heard you once again sitting here talking about my shit and that tweet that tweet absolutely did prove that you were bringing how is asking if somebody was invited to a funeral how is that not bringing up their dead relatives how is that not D dude how do you how did she she literally if anybody open, listen haters I, i'm going to appeal to your sensibilities for a second here if you bought that bullshit that she just spewed from her cocksucker please come to me and talk to me and explain to me how that makes that not a receipt that she literally did what peanut said she did and what i said she did <laughs> i took that screenshot for a reason because i knew that people would either apologize and forget or like she did i got the screenshot from the other one where she said i stand by these questions now and that was after the apology jesus christ guys only reason i'm here the only reason I'm here is to show you how fucking dangerous uh, women and men like her, Anna, and like Methany Manson, uh, how absolutely dangerous they are with the platform. Because there are people that will believe them. Not so many Methany, but this idiot right here has hundreds of thousands of people who thrive on drama and hate. A bunch of fake, woke, SJW, Starbucks drinking, Karen ass white women, over, over, fucking obese, nothing going on in their lives. But, you know, they love this shit. They want it to be true because they have to hate somebody. You know why they need to hate somebody so bad? Because they need to feel better about themselves. Not, I don't do my content because I need to cut. I don't have to cut her down, dude. I could play her video. All the way through, and she would cut herself down to a nub. She knocks herself down two pegs in the first three minutes. I don't need to do that to feel better about myself. This shit 
I don't like it. I don't like watching it. She's a hateful person. She's difficult to watch. She's so unintelligent. She is so uneducated that it pains me. There is no way this individual is an educator and speaks like this. She is not. She is another troll on the internet. A crazy one at that. Hey. I was talking about him. But even that, I felt like, yeah, you know what? It wasn't my place to talk even about his parenting. No, it's not. So I had apologized for this stuff. And you know what? He accepted the apology. He also apologized for a ton of shit. Mm -hmm. But now, all this time later, now that they need to fabricate something, he's going to try and turn around and use something that he accepted an apology for and even use it. In Dip shit. You are a fucking idiot. Before Peanuts reaction to your video, the re video you're reacting to right now, you told me you stood by those words right before the live stream or after it. One of the two. You said you stood by it. So don't give me this, I apologize shit, okay? Yeah, you did, but you still said it. You still said it. You're out here throwing accusations around at people, and I made a claim that was true, and you're trying to spin it into it not being true. Wow, dude, she's insane. In a way that it was never intended. He, he's now trying to manipulate the situation with this tweet. This is not a receipt, and that is a, not at all what you accused me of. So, yes, it, Yes, it is. You did. When you ask somebody if they were invited to somebody's funeral, and then you also ask them where the $10,000 was for that funeral, that's bringing them up. I don't know, dude. You, fuck, man. Is it smooth brain? Wet brain? Are you smoking? Like, do you dip your joints in formaldehyde? Are you doing whippets? Have you gone full fucking Steve-O at this point? What's wrong, dude? Get some help. Still waiting on that fucking receipt because it doesn't exist. It's right there, bitch. As disgusting as your friend that you tried to pretend crossed the line that you would never cross. You're a liar and you're disgusting. Ew. Let me just... I'm a liar? You just put up a bullshit tweet and try to call that a receipt. You're a fucking liar. Negs is a fucking liar. And you know what, Negs? I take back my apology for commenting on your parenting. Anyone can comment on whatever the fuck they want. I would never cross certain lines. I would never bring up your dead kid. Wow. What did she just do in saying that? Why do people think this is okay? Why do people think this is okay? Why? Can somebody tell me why this is, uh, this is okay? Can somebody tell me why uh, parents congregate in that chat and that and that uh that uh, comment section <laughs> and say that this is okay no i want you guys to see i want you to see firsthand what the fuck kind of vile human being she is i would never bring up your and 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 does how do i remain calm because at this point what dude she's a complete stranger on the internet okay um, it seems to me like there are some of these females out there jockeying for position, like MFW's position. Like they want to be the center of my affection like I do MFW because I can laugh at MFW. I can. I can't laugh at this disgusting pig. Seriously. I, I can't laugh at this disgusting pig. That, pff, wow. You're fucked up, Anna. You are, uh, you are, uh, uh, you know what? I'm not even going to watch anymore because I'm 17 minutes in and you've lied about me three times, four times, uh, five times if you count me showing the receipt that you were talking about things that you said you didn't. And then you took back the apology and said you weren't going to bring up such and such in the same statement, bring it up. I don't know what to tell you at this point. Like, you do you, you have hit the, you've, you've covered all bases, bases, all too soon. You 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 immediately went. You got personal off, off, right off the bat, right? And you've been personal because look, um, I don't take back my apology. I don't. I don't. I was sorry that I uh, some of the things I said to you before. I'm not sorry for the things I've said during this live stream because because of that. Be 
because of that. You're not going to be the feature star on my platform. You're not going to be even a regular feature. Um, I've blocked you on Twitter. And I think that's the last bit of anything of yours I'm going to watch. I think we've, I think we've seen enough. I think we've done enough. I think you've done enough damage at this point. You really have. I know you're trying to be edgy, but that's not edgy. That's just disrespectful. And, and you know what? You, if you don't like me, that's cool, man. But guess what other people have to do with me? Like my kids, my mom, my dad, my grandmother, my cousins, you know, my nieces, my nephews, all that. Guess what they have to do with me and uh, what I do? Nothing. They have nothing to do with it. They have nothing to do with it. So why would you make such remarks to not it's, – it's not like – it's not that you're disrespecting me that, that upsets me. It's that you're disrespecting dozens if not hundreds of other people who love these individuals that you decide to exploit for a point of contention on the internet. And I find that severely disheartening. I'm sorry, Negs. Uh, thank you, Wahaz. I'm – all hail uh, Waha's in the chat. <sighs> yep. So, yeah, Missy, I, I wanted to watch. I, I knew that Peanut had done a couple, right? I knew Peanut had done a couple. And, um, and I heard about this but if, on accident. It, it's kind of like what happened with the Geek Room. I went to the video. I went to the middle of it, and I heard those magic words that everybody loves to say, right? <laughs> I went to her video, bam, went to the, went to about seven, 10 minutes in or what, what that was 17 minutes into that point, And I heard that I heard those two words. That's all I heard. And I said, I'm, I'm going to put this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on display once one and done. I don't need to make any more videos about you. I don't. Why would I need to address anything else about you? The people who like you, I don't want them to like me. I don't want people like that in my, I don't want that kind of uh, toxicity in this community. That would be absurd to invite that level of toxicity. If somebody in my community brought up anybody's uh, relative's death as a point of contention, as an argument point, as a dunk on social media, we would alienate them. They would be a pariah. Without it, if there wasn't an immediate apology, they would be a pariah. If they stood by that, they would be a pariah because that is not normal human behavior. You lack empathy, you lack sympathy, you lack morals, and most, most certainly, you lack integrity. You want to be edgy and cool, fine, but the problem is, is you do not possess the talent to do so. So you have to be whatever this is that you've created. It's not a character. When you mention other people's real lives, that's not a character. That's you being inflammatory, yo. There's no other way around it. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, and buts. You just want to be offensive. You don't possess the talent for it. Being a cunt is not a talent. It's not. And I stand by my tweet where I said it was very ignorant of you to go on the internet, say the things that you say, lie about the people you lie about, and then tell everybody that you are gainfully employed and you're happy about that because you can dunk on the losers with your job. Good luck. <sighs> All hail Scott Stevens in the chat. XO, 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 XO. Hey, man, you know what? I appreciate all the condolences. I appreciate all the uh, uh, people saying I'm sorry and shit. You know what, man? Don't be sorry for what somebody else does, you know? Don't be sorry for that. But I think, you know, it's it's important for people to see what kind of evil is his bread on the internet, dude. That shit's evil. That woman is evil. There's no other there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's not me trying to demonize her, but she's fucking evil. It's one thing. I've I don't think I've ever until today I, I said she allegedly grooms children. Allegedly, because I heard it, don't have any proof, but I could just say it. I'm not going to prove it. And then when you prove something I said, I'm going to deny it and say, that's not proof. <laughs> we got your DNA at the scene. That's not my DNA. Well, pff, well I guess it's not. 
Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was her last mention. That was her last mention from me. Yeah, there's nothing there, dude. There's nothing there to even react to. The only thing that that, that she offers is to be like, "Did you hear what the stupid bitch said today? <laughs> Did you hear what she said today?" I mean, that's all it is. Did you hear what she said today? No, don't care. You know what, man? That channel's gonna be shut down. It will. You can't do that shit, dude. You can't fucking rage like that in a video. Like, they have the nerve to talk about Chantel raging. And whoever that dipshit that was in the chat earlier said, I was going to rage on a live stream. I don't rage, dumbass. You know? I, I don't... <laughs> oh, my God. These people fuck their own mothers. Jesus Christ. It gets only... Their, their gene pool is diluted. What part of Canada is she from? Is there a lot of incest there? I mean, for real, I'm concerned, man. Yeah, let that dumpster fire die. You know what? I'm flattered that she can get thousands of views using us, but I'm not flattered that she did it by lying. That's, that's just uh, highly irresponsible. Now you're going to sit here and call me a liar because I won't own up to your lies? How does that work? How do you lie about somebody and say they're a liar when you didn't prove what you said? <laughs> the burden of proof is on the accuser. You've got to prove it. You can't just go up to somebody and be like, yeah, they raped my dog. You got any proof? Nah, I don't have any proof they raped my dog, but look at him. What, you raping? <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I think she's from Montreal. Wherever she's from, they should, uh, if she's a teacher, they should revoke her license. Seriously, they should revoke her license. Would you want somebody like that? I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying by her educator pay scale flex, which is probably bullshit too. Would you want somebody that talks like that around your children? Like if I, that was my kid's teacher, right? And uh, I came home and saw her online saying shit like that about other people. I'd be like, fuck, I'd go to the school board and be like, have you seen this shit? Like, no, this woman's getting the, no, I'm pulling my kid out of class. I don't want them around her. <laughs> uh, Quebec, Quebec is known for the rudest people in Canada. That's, that's unfortunate, man. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I wouldn't let her around. I wouldn't let her around my my children, not at all. But anyway, we're moving on from uh, French fried gunt rip. Rip your reputation, for real. The internet is forever. <laughs> Oh, by the way, this will not be up for replay on YouTube, but I will put it up for replay on Rumble. So for those of you that want the uh, the edgy goodness, uh, please uh, follow me on Rumble. I'll share the link here in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, her, her channel's going to get shut down. I'm telling you right now, and it's not going to be me. I don't, I don't flag people. And it wouldn't be a false flag either. I'm just saying, it wouldn't be a false flag. That's not me encouraging anybody. I'm just giving you YouTube logistics here so you understand the difference between a false flag and an actual flag. This is honestly advice that if somebody, another content creator that's been doing it for a while gave me, I would be like, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to go delete that shit or I'm going to be better in the future, one of the two. But, you know, it's always a threat. It's never advice. It's always a threat. <laughs> Rest in pissy places. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Let's see here. Lies and delusions. Yeah, that video was full of lies and delusions. All right. So. Yep. Rip. No more mentions of you. All right. You know what? You know what's a good palate cleanser? Rich life. You know that old rich life there? Why you say things like that bullying me on the internet? I can't do it today. You think a lot of teachers are teachers helpers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Whew. 
<sighs> Man, can we just at least get some attractive people to give me a hard time? I mean, come on. Is that so much to ask? Can I get one hot dude? I don't care if it's a dude. Hot dude. Just one attractive person. Attractive man or an attractive woman to beef with me. Just once. Just once, okay? I would love for them to not be morbidly obese, gross, greasy, sweaty, balding, fucking seven head, hairline starting in the middle of their, their fucking skull. I mean, anything would be would be uh, an upgrade at this point. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Gym class. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play dodgeball with her with a 10 pound medicine ball. All right, let's watch this Rich Life video. Mind boggling. They got some firecrackers, guys. All right. Y'all want me to drop, y'all want me to light them all and throw them over there? Yeah, do it. Y'all want to see one go off? Yeah. <laughs> 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 this motherfucker's gonna burn the house down. <laughs> 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 this motherfucker. <laughs> this dude's laying in bed. This dude's laying in bed lighting firecrackers, man. Ugh. Whew, man. Uh, don't give Rich explosives. He's lighting the firecracker. Ah. Ah. That's a lot of fire bombs. <laughs> oh my God, he got killed. Oh my God, it blowed his damn foot off, guys. It blowed his foot off, look. It blurred his foot off, guys, look! <laughs> it blurred his foot off, guys, look! He's got smoke coming out of his foot! That foot! Uh... Yeah, turn it into a bong! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the shit. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably shouldn't inhale that, man. <laughs> Now he's got he's got room for the the piss to run out when he takes a piss. <laughs> It'll run down his pants leg. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, the troll cut shut his mouth. His mouth is still open. Damn. Oh, Princess Mob One, can we see some kitten videos to cleanse our souls? Sure. Let me finish this rich life video. Troll, All hail Princess Mob One, one please. Some trolls. Yeah, they're trolls. They can't shut up. The trolls are time to die. Maybe the trolls are watching. Maybe the trolls. Whoa, the troll. They should get us some troll. troll right here. This is the troll, and that's what's going to happen to the trolls one day right there. They're going to lose their foot uh, and all their teeth in their mouth. All right. Why would you pull your teeth out? Uh, because I can and I will. Okay. Hey, Rich Life, do more shit like that, dude. Blow up more gnomes while laying in bed. <laughs> Come on, man. Please. Rich Life of blowing up gnomes. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We'll do final kitty. Final kitty videos. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Damn, cord wrapped all up. I'm fucking tangled up. All right, Sonic. I don't know if I'll join, man, because, dude, I'm in so many servers. I don't fuck with my own hardly, so don't be offended if I don't join. I just don't, you know. I'll, I'll just be a placeholder is all. I'll be like, hey, Megs is in here. He never checks it. <laughs> not, not, not the poison, don't kid. Don't be offended. All right, let's see. Baby cats. Cute, funny cat videos compilation. <laughs> I want to find a short one. I'm allergic to cats. Uh, funny cat's reaction to toy. Okay. All right. Burn. What the hell?
cat's tripping, yo. Alright, good night, bride. I am the gnome in the Discord. Imagine, imagine getting blocked from a chat and then coming back under another account and, and calling that person a snowflake. <laughs> like, really, dude? Who's having the negative reaction here? All right? Let's be real. Just be, be honest with yourself. <laughs> What up, Deb? Ah, <laughs> oh, cats. Hey! Oh shit! Yeah, put your put your finger in there. Oh my god! Oh, that's a toy. I thought it was a real snake. Oh my god! Don't fuck with the. Don't do that to animals, man. It's me. That. <laughs> Uh, I call in bubbles. <laughs> uh, timed them out <clears throat> I didn't see anything they were saying oh my god hey, hey boy what's up <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck dude <laughs> Get a, did he get an edible? The cat got an edible. <laughs> oh, look at the kitty cat, the flower. Oh, little kiki. Get him. Oh, shit. God damn. Alright, I've had enough cats. <laughs> <laughs> Palette cleansed. I was good after Rich Life, but you know, we need some kittens too. You gotta get some kittens on the screen in deedly doodly doodly day. Uh, by the way, let me get you my Rumble channel so you can catch this replay. It might make things out of clay. I just may. I just may. <laughs> yes. All right, let's see here. My content. All right. The roast of Queen of Spade. Man, you all get roasted. I give y'all bitches way too much attention. Sometimes I'd be desperate for content, so. It'd be like that. <laughs> you've been new. Because <laughs> you've been peeped. It. <laughs> what the fuck? There's my Rumble account. Uh, follow me on Rumble. Please follow me on Rumble. 
and you will get like uh, access to it's it doesn't cost anything by the way it's free uh, but you will have access to all the streams that I delete from YouTube because Susan it says it's okay for James Charles to prey on minors, but you can't say bad things. Oh, thank you, Missy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. What's up, Dome? You calling me Dome? You saying I'm bald? I know I'm balding. I don't know what to do with my hair, man. I'm not shaving it. I don't feel like shaving my head again. I don't want to go through all that. I'll just get an eclectic... Uh, collection of hats i really wish that guy would put less ice in my soda I'm, i go there every day i think he'd hook a brother up occasionally yay saint dev man i don't even know what's going on i, I heard I, you know I, i'm not even gonna say you know i just i haven't spoken on anything because i don't know what's going on i had a disagreement and i've just unfollowed people and muted them i didn't want to I didn't want to put, participate in, in those conversations anymore. And there was no need for me to go live and, and have a grievance about it. It's a disagreement. I walked away from it. It is what it is. But I hear people are bugging. And I'm like, why are people bugging? You can, dude, like who you like. Watch who you want watch. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit. Dude, you, anybody that's in our community here knows that there, there are people that I'm close to in this community that uh, are friends with people that I dislike, and it's never a problem. I'm not like, well, you can't be your friend anymore. No, fuck that. Who am I to tell them who they can and cannot hang out with? Holy shit. <laughs> and my friends are honest with the other people. They're like, you probably should like, if I have a problem with something somebody said, they'll be like, you probably shouldn't have said that. You know, they'll speak their mind up, but they're not going to just be, like, dissing on people because I do. <laughs> What's mean, bro? Negs and over is cool people word, right? Uh, I heard people were talking mad shit, and uh, it's fine. That's fine because uh, <clears throat> there's, a, there's a lot of uh, hate. <laughs> like, man, like people say, I'm polarizing. You either like me or you don't. And if my political views all of a sudden make people dislike me and say uh, rather ridiculous things to me, sure. Yeah. I mean, that's weird, but okay, cool, right on. I just disagreed. I unfollowed all the people that were, I don't know, it's not like I wasn't hearing their point, but they really weren't having a point. I just unfollowed them, muted them, and just moved on. Fuck it. I even unfollowed all the political people I was following on Twitter because I'm so over it. It's such a vile, dis nasty fucking conversation to have and nothing ever gets resolved from it anyway it's just a clash of ideas i have different ideas than everybody i'll just go back to pseudo keeping those to myself it's kind of mike lindell's new social media platform i don't know who that is <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. I don't want to get, look, I would love to have a, a platform like YouTube that wasn't censored. Like not that I could get up and like put a carrot in my butt and be naked and all that weird shit, but like somewhere I could go and say whatever the hell I want as long as it's not slanderous, libelous. Hell, you can even say that you'll deal with the, the legal reper repercussions from that. I would like that. But these, the problem with these, these upcoming uh, new social media platforms is that um, they become like toxic echo chambers for political views. And I don't like that. I have my own views and I disagree with everybody and I agree with everybody on some things. All hail Mandy. You're number one. No, you are number one. Yeah, so I don't know, man. Like, I, I was, I, I'm real hype about Donald Trump starting a social media platform. Will I join it? Probably not because I'm not into the cult of Trump shit, man. I don't get it. Like, I think that he did a lot. Look, man, he's another billionaire in charge, okay? He's no angel. He's no saint. He's not perfect. He fucking sprays himself orange. He's 70 some odd years old. Uh, do you really think his wife wants to be with him? There's a lot. Donald Trump is fucking problematic. It's about really not trying to go in and just listen to people suck Trump's dick day in and day out. OK, yeah, it's just because he's a Republican doesn't mean that you have to, you know, get his name tattooed on your ass and swear allegiance to him. <laughs> I don't get the cult. He, look, he's a politician. Politicians are servants. They're not celebrities, right? They're not influencers, 
okay? They're not social media stars. They're none of that. They are servants. They work for me. They work, if you're a citizen of the United States, they work for you. They're servants. They should be treated as such. We're past that now. <laughs> We're way past that. I like that devil more than the Biden devil. Biden is not president, dude. I don't know who's running our country. Uh, but I, I, do you think Joe Biden, it, dude, they, uh, they, they, they prop him up. You know, they, they, put, they, they get him out of bed in the morning and they dust him off and they shove him out in front of the cameras. He had the cleanest golf shoes after playing golf all day, too. It was amazing. It's amazing. Where are all the paparazzi photos? Like, remember when Donald Trump would go golfing and there'd be pictures? People would be eight and a half miles away with the Hubble telescope taking pictures of a crease in the butt of his pants and then somehow uh, correlating that with <laughs> racism in the wall. In the wall is racist. <laughs> yeah. Where's those? Ah, that shit don't happen no more. We'll never get Celebrity Apprentice anymore by Donald Trump. That sucks. Yeah. Uh, we got Gigi. A wild Gigi appears. Yeah, we are their bosses, dude. They are our employees. Donald Trump was my employee, okay? He's not a cult figure. He was my fucking employee. And he wasn't good enough at his job to get reelected because they stole it or something. I don't know. Try to give everything to everybody the benefit. <laughs> yeah, I do think Trump gave a shit about this country and 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 uh, wanted to, what was best, but uh, that's not how that's just not how the current administration works, dude. It's not. It's not. They're gonna tell you you have to do this, you have to do that to travel, you have to get this untested new poison put in your body and all this other shit but they but 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 the same administration is going to create such a crisis at the border that it's only going to exacerbate covid if it's even as serious as they're making it out to be <clears throat> which i really don't think uh i don't i don't think it is <laughs> the wall is here, here. <laughs> covid exists does it exist on the level that they claim it does nope I think all the deaths are fudged. Numbers are fudged. I think that, uh, yeah, I think that, I think that it's going to come clean one day. They're just going to they're going to open the books and people are going to be like, actually, people died from, you know, this or they died from that, and they just labeled it as COVID. The wall is racist. Nags twenty twenty one. The establishment is rock solid. It is. It is. All they got to do is keep uh, keep us peasants at each other's throats. They got to keep us poor and keep us angry. As long as they keep us poor and angry, they could keep stealing from us. They could keep giving us products that we buy for, you know, instant gratification, dopamine, and ass patting yourself. As long as they could keep us in this routine of being so angry that the only thing that makes us fucking happy is to have materialistic goods, they'll always be in control. God damn. Uh, who? I don't know who that is, Parky. I don't I, no, I don't know who that is. <clears throat> I find it concerning that somebody got blocked twice and came back in under a third account to super chat me. I mean, I'll take anybody's money. So I mean, if you just want my attention and you're being weird about it. You can send me money. That's cool. <laughs> All right, Art Angel. We'll see you later. You think the government wants to go back to a monarchy? Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. Some, you know... Some family dependent upon welfare, also known as uh, taxes, you know, so they could have uh, power and, oh, wait, it's already what we got. Yeah. 
Ridiculous. Nope, this live will not be staying up. It will be coming down. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to be uploading it to my Rumble account, but that will take me several hours. It'll be three or four hours before it gets... Maybe not. I don't know. I'll download it, go smoke, come back up. It's If it's downloaded, I'll upload it to Rumble immediately. So just give me a couple hours, two, three hours. Uh, what's the Cameo link? It's in the description, I believe. If not, you can just go to Cameo app and search Negs. I'm the only one. I should be anyway. I should be. There you go. There's the Cameo link. Thank you, Missy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. It's like flu, but stays in your body longer. Yeah. Gotta die one day. Nobody lives forever. That's the beauty about these creeps on the internet, is they won't live forever. I mean, like, if you can't get one over on somebody, just remember, at some point, they will meet their maker. And there's and they have no control over it any more than you do. So, you know, it's oh, that's always something to look forward to. <laughs> it's somebody's demise. <laughs> oh you just got in juicy sorry man sorry yeah 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 i'm gonna upload it to rumble it'll be it'll be up it'll be up later so yeah ah oh, man well that's disappointing man it, 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 i really wish she wasn't so vile and disgusting with her vernacular because she would make a great lol cow, but she's not even... I mean, she's a lol cow, for fucking sure, but Jesus Christ. The wrong, wrong kind of lol cow, man. Wrong kind of lol cow. Jesus. No one will care in 300 years, because we'll all be dead. We're going to be... <laughs> food for worms. Food for fucking worms. <laughs> I've seen him do it before. I don't think he's bad, just a turd sometimes. Who are you talking about, that Drama Dome? Oh, there you go, Drama Dome. Thanks for the super chat. I could use a hug. I could use a hug. I could use another super chat, too. You know, Just, hey, do this, Drama, drama Dome. I, just do this for me, please. Super chat me five bucks, and that will be the equivalent of a digital hug. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, man, there's something I wanted to look up, and I can't remember now. I don't know. Let me go check my watch later. I probably got something there. By the way, there's a Patreon panel tonight. Private panel. Invite only. No, it's for my $1 and $5 tier uh, patrons. We have a private panel. It'll be 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yep. Hugs through Super Chats. That's right. Reach out and hug someone. Please. Please hug me. What the fuck is this? Hand planet on hand planet violence. Crime, rather. <laughs> ah, thank you, Danny. Hmm... King Cobra versus Cool Taste. Let's, we'll do. What up, YouTube? We'll do what we normally do, okay? This is what we'll do. We're not going to watch the whole goddamn thing. It's 13 minutes long. Uh, but we'll watch a little bit of it, and then we'll come back at another time and watch the rest of it. That's kind of what we've been doing lately. He came in too hot on that, but if he knew the whole the story fully, I don't see him acting that way. Oh, okay, whatever. Didn't hurt my feelings. I just saw I just saw something I didn't care to interact with. And I just I just removed it. That's just how I roll. If I'm like, I'm here for a productive conversation. I'm not here to entertain trolls. You know, cool trolls I will entertain. If you're a cool troll, yes, fucking a. I love I love uh, funny trolls. I love nice trolls. I don't like dickhead trolls though. You know, the the, the motherfuckers that just come in here and just be like. <laughs> Like the kid over there smearing shit on his face so everybody looks at him. <laughs> Fuck it, A, dude. Fuck it, A. It's 
sorry, my back. Did somebody blow your back out, Sonic? <laughs> it's kind of like the Kool-Aid man busting into a funeral by accident. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. The bigger the super chat, the bigger the hug. Do and uh, we got a couple of videos to respond to. Yes. So Cool Taste made a video about me. This ought to be rich. People are saying he's talking a bunch of shit. I don't know. You know. Oh man, you get four and don't beg. Not a good look. Damn it. Damn it. Ah oh, man, that doesn't count as a hug. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I appreciate the sentiment, though. I will. I will be sure to when I go to bed at night. I will think about this near hug until I go to sleep. I want to watch it and see what All he has to drama say. Dome. <laughs> People are sending me this video like, "What the shit, dude? This is some weirdness." But let's see what we got. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, I was going to be a brand new video. Oh my god! So I was watching covers live stream from earlier. His gender relations in it. Yeah, I just gotta say one thing. Stop with that, Cobra. Like, I got a few things to touch on. First off, first off at the beginning when you said drinking a nice cold past Blue Ribbon, not a sponsor. Josh, if you just stop trying to make people love you and impress them, get them to... <laughs> Bro, you have to legally say that because sometimes companies can get pissed at you. I say not a sponsor because a lot of people may ask. Some people are texting me saying he's talking shit. I don't know if he's talking shit really because me and Cold Taste are friends, but ah. I think he's just uh, stating his opinion. Josh, if you just stop trying to make people love you. And <laughs> I'm not making people do anything, Cold Taste. I cannot control what other people do. Yeah, you're over here making videos about gender rela gender relations and gender equality. Let me tell you, I don't care about that crap, all right? I'm just going with the flow, and what happens, happens. Hey, man, that's cool. You don't care about that crap until you experience sexism on the reverse end, and <laughs> nobody does anything about it it's because true. It's true. that's just how life works. It's In true. fact, there were a lot of people who thought about quite honestly tuning out because I talk about it so much. Big Wolf, we could talk about other things too, you know? And Cobra, you have more videos than I do, but they seem to love me more than you. I, I saw you, I, I, your subreddit was read to me. Okay, cool taste. You don't know the scoop of things. Um, that subreddit was created by a bunch of my haters, dude. Okay? People who are literally so bored with their life, they're going to create an entire subreddit dedicated to ripping on me. <laughs> dude, you made it. You've made it. That's awesome. Uh, I don't know what happened, but people said you need a hug, so here's my tiny $5 hug. Loves for you. Oh, hell, Juicy Skittles in the chat, please. Thank you, Juicy. I appreciate the hug. See, Drama Dome, you could have had all that love. As hard as they can, every day, nonstop. Okay, that takes dedication, man. I feel sorry for my trolls, to be quite honest. And yeah, my subreddit is full of trolls, but it's also got a couple of solid fans in there who care about me. So it ends up being mixed in with fans, trolls, and then just overall, you know. So not everything on that subreddit is complete shit, honestly. But my honest opinion, the King Cobra JFS subreddit is exactly what's wrong with our society reflected on one page. As far as being well-liked, no offense, cool taste, but where would you be if I hadn't given you a recommendation from my YouTube channel and said, hey, check out this guy's videos. Oh, damn, he got you, cool taste. He got you on the shout out, homie. Mmm. Damn. You know. They love me over there. Speaking of which, go check out my subreddit. Reddit. Ah, uh, don't let them fool you, man. They're just trying to uh, befriend you because they know you're friends with me. And they're <laughs> trying to get you to uh, fuck with me and shit. Uh -huh. I know how these trolls work. Yep. He's and, not wrong. Um, yeah, you know, cool taste. You want to have a subreddit? Have fun with that, brah. 
there's not much going on over there. Not much going on over there, eh? Well, if you're more well liked than I am, then how come my haters are so dedicated to hating on me? Because the way I see it, your haters are your biggest supporters. Am I right? That's true. But I've been bullied in school and dealt Same. with an unfair, broken system my entire life mm. to some extent. I've seen it unfold with other people. Shit. The system and it gives is me this perspective on the world. And Everybody. I'm like, if I bitch about it, cool. You know, I'm bitching about it for the right reasons, obviously. Well, I got maybe four members. Four members. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> like, if you want to check out Cool Taste subreddit, go right ahead. Like, and another <laughs> part is when you're getting the steps about in a, like, like how women just want to marry guys and divorce them and take them for all their stuff. Uh, that's not what I said, dude. You, you're reading between the context. I said that divorces happen more with women these days, but women are put underneath all this pressure to get married in the first place, just like guys are put underneath all this pressure to get laid. That's not true. Dude, he's not wrong at all. Wait, that's not all true. <laughs> it's not true, eh? Who initiates more divorces, men or women? According to MSN.com, According to 2015 research from the American Sociological Association, women initiate almost 70% of divorces. <laughs> you're not a woman. You don't know why females want to marry guys. And... No, you're right. I'm not. But here's the thing. If it's slick, you don't know <laughs> me either. You know, I, didn't, I never claim to. But the steps in a relationship, you really had a mention size. Dude, I'm bombing and dry spot as long as you. <laughs> no one cares, dude. You and me are both going through a dry spell. It happens. Yeah, Shit. I'm in a dry spell, no too. No one gives a fuck. Cool taste, bro. Nobody gives a fuck that you and me are going through a dry spell. <laughs> and as it sits right now, I've gotten recognized by some really attractive of-age ladies around town. Just because they're like, that's the legendary King Cobra JFS. <laughs> Women find me attractive because I'm not afraid to be myself and I have attractive qualities. Three years. But you know what? I don't Dude, he got confidence like a motherfucker. That's that's a breath of fresh air, man. Because it, you you know, you could just tell with Cobes that he owns that shit. He doesn't just say that as a flex. He means it. He means it. And people like that. People like confidence. Seriously. If you're funny and you're confident, yeah. I mean, and that goes both ways. But, you know, for men, dude, there's, there's a lot of pressure on dudes. There is. There's a lot of pressure on dudes. I mean, not just to get laid, but to, like, find a, a partner or just even find somebody that wants to touch you for a 30 second. I don't know. I don't care about it. And you know what else? You know, I don't. Honestly, I've learned to not care about my dry spell either. You know, to be fair, I got enough hot chicks that acknowledge my existence. They, they think I'm cute. So honestly, I'm not in a rush. You know, a lot of chicks in town want to date me because I'm a YouTube celebrity. And I dig it. People are sitting there texting me. Oh my God, who's cool to us? Why is he talking shit? I'm like, he's a homie of mine. Chill. Fuck out. So I'll watch the video and. Yeah. Mm, I love it. In dude. fact, I laugh at my dry spell. One time when I went to the bar and I accidentally spilled beer on my lap, yeah. I made a joke about it. I'm like, well, I guess I got my dick wet at, and then I named the bar and chuckled at it. <laughs> the people around me who watch my videos and know what's up were just chuckling like, you know what? Cobra's got the right attitude about his dry spell. He laughs at it. I do. I'm a good looking dude. I got some muscles. You know what I'm saying? I got attractive <laughs> qualities. So at this point, I'm laughing at it. As I become more famous on YouTube, what, you know. I heard somebody <laughs> say that they're not proud of your channel. I made a video about you yesterday. And Glenn Sarmers said, I see my son takes inspiration in me. I inspire you, but you. That was a troll, dude. That wasn't my real dad. I don't get inspiration from you. Get off your high horse, cool taste. And don't let, you know what? Sincerely, bro, no offense, dude, but I get those same fucking assholes pretending to be my dad in the chat, and they'll donate five bucks and say a bunch of stupid fucked up shit. 
just to get a reaction because they think it's funny. Like, <laughs> I'm going to talk shit on Josh, but give him five dollars. Or, or, you know, it's like who's trolling who, really? You know? Right? <laughs> shit. Right? Yeah, I trolled. And here's the thing: of it, cool taste. Honestly, I will say this: it is admirable that <laughs> you still get around with your eyesight. It is pretty impressive, bro. Yeah. And honestly, I wish I could fix your eyesight. Oh, that's nice. That's another thing, too, is like you start realizing that people out there have it way worse. And you want to bitch because you're going through a dry spell. <laughs> Boo-hoo. I had a speech teacher at elementary school that did that. If you, if you uh, got a question wrong, you got a boo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, more subscribers than me. Okay. And the money that your fans donate to you, what I do, uh, and my fans donated to me, I would use that money and put it to you, towards YouTube. Not. Hey, I do put, to be fair, I do put this money towards YouTube. You know, if I order something, I review it on YouTube. You know, if I go to the liquor store, I get, I get a beer, <laughs> I review it on YouTube. If I'm cooking something, I'll cook it. So, yes, I do put the money that's donated to towards me, towards not only YouTube, but also my wand business. <laughs> you know, it's the stepping stone like this that's going to take me to the top. People uh. hear my singing voice, and then they hear the guitar playing, and they're like, damn! When you actually know it's a song, and you can match the artist, that's cool. Not towards a beer, and not towards a ridiculous pizza. Okay, cool taste, bro. Let me, let me tell you something. I don't tell you how to spend your YouTube money, so please don't tell me how to spend mine. That's why people like watching, because I do ridiculous shit like that. Yeah, these guys aren't on drugs. I mean, I'm not saying that he doesn't smoke weed or drink, because he does, but they're not on drugs. They're they're uh, like, I think I think Cobes is autistic. I mean, it's like everybody's autistic anymore. And uh, Cool Taste has, what does he have? Is, 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 it, is it cerebral palsy or... Uh, that's why he speaks the way he does. And he's, I don't know why he's blind. That eye. That's probably from his affliction as well. So yeah, no, these dudes just, uh, they're the part, look, man, there are parts of society that, uh, you know, the outside looking in that people aren't used to, you know, like, like, like people with disabilities or people who are just different. Cobra goes extreme. The internet has opened those windows for us. You know, that's why they like watching me. What right, kind of enough. insane shit is this asshole doing now? He put what on what? See the pizza that I did yesterday? It was it was only $10. Eh, you know what? Like I said, cool taste. You do what you're doing. I'll do what I'm doing. You all talk about going with the flow. Here you are telling me how to live my life. Like, <laughs> right. why don't you go with the flow and just do your thing and I'll do my thing? Yeah. Shit. No shit, dude. You are you seriously? Just go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. This coming from the guy who's telling someone else how to live their life. You know, and not trying to be a dick, but it kind of sounds like Cool Taste is jealous that I have more fans on my YouTube channel, but I'm not going to say that. Oh wait, I did. Oh, <laughs> be nice. That's as far as I'm going to go with it, honestly. Um, cool taste, bro. I thought we were friends, but like, what the shit is this, dude? <laughs> uh, just go with the flow, he says. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, Co yeah. Cobes is Cobes is is not problematic, yo. He's just he's just a dude chilling, plays guitar, makes magic wands. He, he's got a hustle, dude. He's a he's a he's an entrepreneur. I mean, just because you're not a millionaire doesn't mean you're not an entrepreneur. <laughs> you you know, once you become a million dollars, you're a millionaire. But I'm done. If you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, and one more thing, Cobra. What I noticed is my like to dislike ratio is I have more likes than dislikes. That's because trolls bought my videos with dislikes, <laughs> bro. You don't know what I go through. <laughs> you have no idea. And I have no idea what you go through, you know? So I'm not going to sit here and judge you. But the thing of it is you want to say that. But guess what? If I just uploaded a video and it has zero views and already has 26 dislikes, <laughs> I've seen that shit happen. And I just ignore it because honestly, I don't care about like to dislike. I don't care about subscribers. You know, I appreciate my subscribers, but it's not about that, bro. Actually, you just got done giving him shit about being jealous. Uh, 
<laughs> you you have more dislikes than likes. Again, because I get bonded, and I guarantee you, if you had the kind of trolls I had, you'd be experiencing the same shit, bro. No lies. My channel's popping over here. Right. <laughs> Your channel's popping. Hey, <laughs> Even though it's not about <laughs> subscribers, I would like to point out, I'm kind of curious to see how many subs I do have. I'm not trying to piss anyone off, <laughs> but you made the video saying this crap, so I responded. Oh, wait. 18,488 subscribers. God damn, dude. <laughs> you want to talk about popping. <laughs> and, you know, it feels good to get your first thousand subscribers, dude. I get that. Yeah. I was, I've been there, done that, burnt the t-shirt. But when you get a YouTube plaque saying congratulations on reaching... Wait, hold on. You've only got 1,000 some odd subscribers. <laughs> some odd. <laughs> which some of those you wouldn't have if I hadn't given you a shout out on YouTube. Uh, so you really want to, <laughs> you know, be like that. But. So there's that video, YouTube. Um, honestly, cool taste. I hope you enjoy your vacation in Idaho. Yeah. Um, we all pee the same color of pee. It's either green or yellow, depending on how much asparagus you have. Anyways, YouTube, I'll we'll catch you cool covers later. Thank you for tuning in. Dude, he, he's got a good... I have money. Um, I... He's a... Uh... He's got a vibe. He's got a good vibe about him, man. He's very. He seems very like he will. He will tell you how it is, but he's still very sympathetic. You know what I'm saying? And it's not fake. It's not that fake sympathy. Like you throw shade and then you like, oh, but I'm concerned for your well being. Not like what life does or loafs. <laughs> what do you want to call it? Not like what she does. Uh <laughs> pissing green imagine peeing green and not being concerned about it oh my god he has a lawn mowing service too see dude he's a hustler you gotta respect that dude you gotta respect I respect I respect people who go out and get and have an honest hustle and own it and fucking and bust their ass doing it I have nothing but love for that dude I've had so many hustles in the last 10 years. I couldn't. I... I did see a comment. Somebody was asking about my uh, professional wrestling photography company. I don't know if they recall, but <laughs> I, uh, I did a live stream one night and I was talking about my uh, ventures in photography, which, which netted me a lot of money, allowed me to sustain my household. But, uh, in the process of that, I took money. I made enough money that I could take that, some of that money and finance my ventures into doing work for professional wrestling. I didn't make shit doing professional wrestling. Um, I, I, I walked out with more. I always got fed. I usually got gas money, at least. But there were only like two or three shows where I got paid between 50 and a hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, one time I got paid a hundred dollars and a GoPro. Okay, so um, it really didn't shut down. It just it was a hobby, and I really enjoyed it. And I went in balls deep when I first started doing it. I made DVDs. I took thousands of pictures. I charged for promo pictures. I basically went into these wrestling places and solicited all the boys that were wrestling for for money. And uh, the promoters were, were making bank on concessions and admission. Uh, the wrestling was pretty low rent, but, you know, I loved doing it. I would travel a three and a half hour round trip to go work for free, basically, with the hope that maybe somebody would buy a promo package from me that would let me film an interview, take their promo pictures for like 30 bucks. I charged a dick, dude. I was in the red by the time it was done. That's probably why it stopped. I, I can't remember. But there's a lot of dude. There's a lot of drama in pro wrestling and a lot of egos. That shit is annoying, especially when you're just a photographer. So, so to answer your question in my comment, I can't remember what you asked. It was something. It it didn't go out of business because it's never a business. I could have just said that. <laughs> it was called Mark Out Mafia. We had cool shirts. Yeah, I still got them. We had a website. Uh, we had a Twitter. We had a Facebook page. We had a YouTube channel. I mean. 
Yeah. Let me see if I can find something that I've done. RCCW. River City Championship Wrestling. I can't believe they're still they're still running. It's some of the same people too. Oh, they're doing uh they're doing numbers now. They had Hornswoggle. That's one of the companies I used to uh, photograph for. River City Championship Wrestling. I believe so. No, it's Rose City. Never mind. That's not River City. My bad. Ha! <laughs> I'm dumb. Uh, was that? Cal Creed versus Mr. Anderson. Um, why, why, did they, why can't people just come up with a fucking original name? RCCCW Mark Out Mafia. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we go. All right, cool. Let me check it out here. Let me see if uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of what I did. Uh, Marky out, Marquee Macho. No, that's not me. That's not me. RPC Creations. I'm trying to think of which one of these. Uh, channels has it on there i know we've taken a major left turn from the initial topic but i'm done i haven't uploaded on here in years mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, oh i got to do a uh <clears throat> i did a little bit of a seminar on uh on uh, how to set up social media or something like that. It was a social media seminar for a book club once. I was invited to do it. I was like, wow, I've never done anything like this. So I prepared this this whole thing on index cards. Didn't bring any tech with me. <laughs> Except my phone. I was like, yeah, I suck. Mm. This was probably the last time I was in Florida. Yeah, this is the last time I was in Florida, man. It's been that long. By the way, that does little to no good, so don't even try to duck. <laughs> Shit was crazy. That was on the pier. It was a Friday night, I believe. <laughs> it was on the pier. It was a Friday night. Oh, dude, this the spray paint artist nearly choked us to death. It was crazy. Um, I'm trying to find a match that I did. I got 8,000 views on the Volcano video. Hey, all right. I should have stuck with Volcano videos. <laughs> the Call of the Gerbil. What the hell is this? I bought two gerbils, right? I bought two gerbils from a pet store, and I said they're the same sex, right? They're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, they're the same sex. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, and they just kept reproducing. I couldn't get rid of them fast enough, dude. It was crazy. Like, uh, I got rid of all of them when I moved about three years ago. I gave them to... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I gave them to a snake farm or something. I can't, I can't remember what I did with them. I kept Phil. I kept fat fuck Phil and another one. 
Okay, let's see here. What did I have 25,000 views on? 24,000 views on that one? Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, yeah, here, here you go. Here's what a, a litter of... Uh, Look, dude. They would not stop breeding. They would not stop fucking breeding, dude. I can't remember what the last count was, dude, but it was so many that I had to get. I kept, uh, cause see, I, I had, uh, I had, I had to put Phil in a cage, Phil and chocolate in a cage by themselves. And I kept them, but the other tank was full and they just kept reproducing. Dude, I saw all, um, I gave them to a rescue. Okay. That's right. Yeah. I didn't give them to a snake farm. Thanks for the, <laughs> thanks for the interception. I was kind of joking. Um, but yeah, uh, it probably is Missy. But uh, I kept Phil. I kept Chocolate. They ended up passing away. They got a, something called Wet Tail. I didn't know what it was. I was not real familiar. And by the time I had learned about Wet Tail, they were gone. So it was sad. Rip. They're buried in uh, another city. You had to go unblock your accounts. Highly unlikely. Uh, I'm going to try to find something from the... Uh, Oh, Lord. Gerbil babies. I was trying to capitalize on it. Didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Some dude. Boots in the Creek. I remember making that video. Yeah. Gerbil babies. Chew. Um, uh, let's see. Let's find some wrestling. I don't want to play a long ass man. A battle royal. Uh, let me find something here. Uh, let's how to record Gmod. No man uh, cage match. No. Uh, all right. Let's watch this. I'll just give you guys an idea. <laughs> True story. The skinny guy in the ring. The, the, I, uh, I, uh, I legit participated in a spot that concussed him. Yeah, it was, uh, it was not cool. His partner is one half of the Midwest Kings. He is. Well, the, the Art Angel, the thing was, is after I dropped him off, I think what I what I said was, I was like, that guy probably owns a snake farm. <laughs> and I just hooked him up with like 20 pounds of free food. Please welcome Unfiltered Religion! Bye, Princess Mom. Dave Menthol. I love that dude. That's a good friend of mine. Dude, he was legit seven foot tall. Like... <laughs> Like, and he was my, he was a, he was a good friend of mine. We spent a lot of time together. We broke bread together. We, uh, dude, but I, I would go pick him up. I had this little cavalier. Okay. <laughs> you go pick up a guy that's almost seven. He was, I think he, he was either seven foot or damn near seven feet. You go pick up a guy that's seven foot tall, 300 plus pounds and put him in the front seat of your cavalier. It don't work out too well for the dude. He had to put the seat all the way back, lean it back. <laughs> He's a good dude, though. Man, big heart. I think he's a masseuse now, is what he's doing. 
He was legit intimidating. I don't know, Missy. <laughs> Missy, maybe I lied to myself. Maybe, maybe I lied to everybody else, and I believe the lie now. I was like, yeah, it was a snake farm. <laughs> if I just told everybody else it was a rescue, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was a rescue. That's what they said. Maybe they lied to me, though. The entrances take like five minutes, it seems. Dude, I think I think if he would have kept training and would have like moved to Florida for uh, where WWE's uh, training facilities are. I think he would have had a good chance at like you know being somebody in wrestling because he had he was so tall he was he was intimidating he had a good character you couldn't do a lot of move you couldn't suplex the dude you, nobody I don't think anybody did anything other than punch him and kick him seriously you can't pick him up you can't like very well sling him over the top rope if you're 120 pounds. <laughs> The thing I respected most about this promoter was that everybody was included and everybody was a part of the show. Everybody from all walks of life. It didn't matter what it, disability didn't matter. It, it, it didn't matter. Disability in a wheelchair, all crutches, uh, completely normal. It didn't matter. All walks of life. Everybody pitched in and helped these things happen, dude. And he allotted opportunities to people in this very physical world that most people who are not so able bodied wouldn't have. I appreciated him for that. He was very, uh, very charitable with people. Very much so. But it doesn't have a job. I don't know. I, I figured they were the train to drop you off. No, you guys are the service. That made no sense. Don't insult people. It's so awkward because the crowd was always so quiet. <laughs> By the way, I'm operating the camera. Hey, if you can reach more to you. Oh, you're so happy. Yeah, I like my tattoo. <laughs> That's all you can do to him is kick. Oh, God. Damn. He just kicks him in the back. <laughs> Damn, that's like me beating up little Negs. <laughs> Nobody's cheating.
little story. Um, the, all, the guys in this corner where I'm standing back filming, those are all my buddies. Uh, that's uh, AAA, uh, Titan Chambers, and uh, what was Anthony's name? I don't remember his, his name. Was, his name was Anthony. I don't know. I didn't know his wrestling name. No, it was TJ. I'm sorry. It wasn't Anthony. It was TJ. Anyway. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, these these guys that work in these federations, these these independent wrestling promotions, they are dedicated. That you know, if you're new, if you're if you're green and you're you're uh, cutting your teeth in the wrestling business, you have to come in and help set that ring up, and it takes hours to set it up, hours, and it's steel and wood, okay? <laughs> so it's heavy, and it's hard. To, it's and you know they get used to it, but I mean like they they do that, and then they stay after the show for two or three hours and tear the ring down. I don't know if it takes two or three hours. I'm just guessing. Um, they tear the ring down and pack it back up and then they got to take it back where they got it. And I guess they keep it in a trailer, but they put a lot of free, like you dedicate a lot of your time to get nothing. You don't get any money out of it. Most guys lose money, but that's what kind of culture this is. Uh, you can't, I, I've, I've never dissed, uh, the wrestling business because it requires selfless sacrifice. Like you wouldn't believe. Come on! But no, you know, I I saw people pass through these promotions that were trying to get to the WWE. But a lot of these guys, they just did it because it was fun. It was something to do on a Friday, something to do on a Saturday, you know. And then during the week, you go back to uh, whatever job it is you have in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> He's a shark! <laughs> He's a I hated it. People would come up to me and try to talk to me while I was operating the camera, and I was always like, <laughs> like, not now, man. Not now. <laughs> Hell yeah, Missy. Oh. It's like little Negs tried to beat me up. Nice. That's all right. I gotta see it again. <laughs> Hell yeah. No. Well, that's the thing. Um, 
uh, with, with uh, uh, professional wrestling, it's it's a sports entertainment. It is it is a sport, but it's also entertainment. If if you know if you have two guys going in there and fully landing all their shots as hard as they could, they'd kill each other within a minute and a half. Now there are guys that get in the ring and beat the living shit out of one another. And now wrestling, you watch it now, they're doing flips and flipping over the rope, jumping from high places. Everything they do, it's like it hurts themselves more than it hurts anybody else. It's crazy. <laughs> Tag Team Champions. Yeah, there were EMTs uh, at the building. We were at a, a school that had a recreational a building. To, uh, to, uh, to, well, that wasn't a school. It, was it used to be a school, but it was some kind of other building, but it still had the gym, and you could rent the gym. And there were EMTs who volunteered. Everybody, nobody made a dime, dude. Nobody, I didn't make a dime. Those guys didn't make a dime. Uh, the guy who promoting it pr probably didn't make a dime. You know, it's all about it was all about passion and, and, and love of the sport. I love it. I love it. See, what I did was I had this little little production company called Mark Out Mafia. It was basically just me, my uh, second oldest, and uh, a friend of mine. I would I would pay her to come along and help run cameras for me because there were bigger shows. We had one show we had uh, we had one stationary camera filming. I was filming with a shoulder cam, and she was taking pictures from the side. And this went on for like three hours. Uh, but we had this little uh, company, and I weaseled my way into making it into a wrestling faction, the Mark Out Mafia. So not only were we the production company, but we were also a wrestling faction. See? That's yeah, awesome. Love it. Love it. That's called branding. For those of you out there struggling to understand how people make it on YouTube... <laughs> While bragging about your job that you could lose. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's how you market. That's how you brand. That's how you make a brand. It wasn't a successful brand, but it was a fun brand. It was a hobby, but it was still a brand, nevertheless. Say now. Uh, <laughs> that said six person transgender tag. <laughs> God damn it. I've been ruined by woke culture, man. Uh, six person intergender tag match. This is back when men and women would beat, e beat e uh, each other. Uh, today's your birthday, Gothic? Hubby said to check your IG in about five minutes. Okay, word. It's today your boy if it's your birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear gothic happy birthday to you <laughs> yeah um gopro rig duct tape helmet duct tape engineering <laughs> i try I, I threw anything at the wall to see if it would stick you know i made a uh I did have an anti-bullying project. See, I told, I'm trying to tell all these haters out there that if you look deep enough on me, you're going to find things that you could be like, oh, anti-bullying project, huh? Yeah, anti-bullying with children. <laughs> Adults beat somebody's ass. Yeah. So, uh, I, I don't know. I can't remember what this video is. I'm gonna, If I start cringing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Ron. Yeah, I'm not listening to myself from that many that many years ago. Sorry, I don't want to hear myself right now. I'll, I'll hear this guy though. 
eight years. Eight years. I've fought, I've clawed, I've pushed, I've pulled, and I have beaten every individual that's come up to me, fighting my way up to the top. I censored it. God, God damn it. it. I censored it. Why did I do that? Matt Vengeance. Obviously. me out of my time. It's that simple. After eight years, I have pushed to get to the top of CWA to get my f***ing shot at the CWA time. And I finally get there. And you have to have a consistency plan. <laughs> Can't beat me one on one. So the, the the rib there, the joke was when he said consistency plan because the guy he's cutting a promo on cut a promo and he said he was rolling with the promo up until he said I have a consistency plan and we were like, all right, we're using that in the next promo. <laughs> oh, this channel's never been monetized, Missy, or maybe it was at one time. I don't know. I think what I did, I think I used to edit like bleep out the f word because I thought it it, it was more powerful than the actual f word, which I really don't. No, I'm not in this you one. You beat me fair. You couldn't pin me for the one, the two, or the three. One, so here I stand. two, well, three. You know what, Vengeance? Here's the challenge. Let's increase the bet. Instead of it being a one-on-one -on -one match, instead of it being something so f***ing simple that you can just screw your way out of it, Two out of three balls. You got the balls for it? We'll fight right now. So what you need to do is you need to get your happy little ass behind the keyboard. Be your little keyboard warrior and accept my challenge. Because March 22nd, 2015, Richmond, Indiana, YMCA. I'm taking my title. And if that means that you're gonna try to screw your way out of it, I guess I'm just gonna have to stop that too, aren't I? Because it seems like I knocked your ass out for the one, two, three. Everybody saw it. Seems like the rep might have been on payroll. Hey. It seems like some bullshit to me that he turns around, you go to hit me with the belt, somehow I get disqualified for your bullshit. All right, round two. So if you got the balls, let's fight. The YMCA, right? Oh, look, it's a bunch of old people trying to, uh, you know, tell me what to do. Can't believe Maxine Waters is still alive. Jesus, what is she, like 159? Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. When the vest goes out the window, so do the rules. So do the rules. So do the rules. Mm. Yeah, that's all I got. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Don't forget to stalk me on Rumble, guys. Stalk me on Rumble so you can get access to this uh, live stream later. You're, you guys are killing me. <laughs> uh, yep, Draven Valentine. That's right. That's right. Cool dude. We had a massive falling out. He doesn't like me to this day. I didn't know. I hadn't spoke to him in years, and I got a message from him <laughs> about... A month ago, I was live streaming on Facebook, and we have a page that we're both moderators on. And I shared the live stream to it, and he he blocked me from the page and said, "Leave your toxicity off my platform." I was like, "Dude, technically, I created that platform, but whatever. I'm not gonna fight you over it. I don't give a shit. Whatever." <laughs> I wish he just talked to me because I can't. I know why we had a falling out, and and I'm not gonna repeat the story. But I was well within uh, my rights of being upset about the situation. And somebody's lucky they didn't get their ass whipped. But shit happens, man. People people can't be friends forever, I guess. Everybody gets mad at one another. 
So, all right. I'm out of here. Much love, guys. I appreciate y'all. Uh, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 5 hours, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Private Patreon panel. Patreon links in the description. Check it out. Bye.